Welcome back to the BS Gang. If you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button. A huge portion of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. Also, of course, as always, huge shout out to our members of the channel. If you want to become a member, go ahead and click that join button. But you guys can see on the screen, huge shout outs to Shogun or James, whatever you call him, right? For um, putting this on his Twitter. Now, I don't actually know where he got this image from. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. But this was on his Twitter. And I think it's interesting that they have this like they have this already the one is not even a day old yet on global and they already have this image now <laughs> um it is a it is a fire image i'm not gonna lie it's very fire now um now we got the the commandments on this side and we got the sins on the other side and it's really really cool looking but yeah you can see right here holy war festival so i guess that pretty much does confirm there are two types of festivals. You have the regular festival and then you have the Holy War Festival is what they're calling it. Now it says part one. I'm not sure if this was um, for like the one. See now this is where it gets weird. I'm not sure if this means like part one of the one Escanor celebration or if this is going to be a picture for the future uh, for Assault Mo Meliodas. I'm pretty sure it is for the future for assault melee when he drops because it, it says assault mode engage it literally says assault mode engage so that means assault mode Meliodas is coming and then it says enjoy part one of the holy war festival with seven deadly sins meet assault mode berserk Meliodas, and enjoy various special events so i do think this is straight for assault melee now it is interesting again that they already have this prepared so be, be sure to save your gems, y'all. If you guys summoned on the ones banner, if you went the whole rotation, good, stop. If you got the one without even going the full rotation, that's good, just stop. Because it looks like Assault Mode Meliodas is going to be coming a lot sooner than we might have thought. I'm assuming in a month's time, once the one leaves, he will arrive. So I want you all to be prepared, right? I want you all to be prepared for... For his arrival and i'm sure that they will give us a notice before he drops because they don't want another catastrophe on their hands but yeah it's very interesting that they decided to do it now um but yeah it's very very interesting very, very interesting so if we go ahead and let's take a look at assault meliodas so assault Meli is very very good however the one is still better than him right i would say the one is the best festival unit Although, I gotta say, Assault Melee looks like much, much more fun than the one will be. Because Assault Melee has very, like a very interesting setup to him, right? So he has Rupture, which obviously you guys know. That means if the enemies are buffed, they'll take, what is it, two two times more damage? Yeah, two times more damage. Um, so it's very, very nice. And it's an AoE, so very, very strong. And then he has Amplify. And you guys already know if you Amplified... Um, you do 30% more damage per buff on you. And then his passive combines with that. So it makes him very, very strong. However, the only thing that kind of sucks. I mean, I don't think it sucks. I just think it's a little, a little restrictive. Because he needs to be with demons or commandments for his passive to actually work. So that's, that's kind of an issue. He doesn't have like a best friend. Or like partner per se for him yet although i still think he's very good i still think he is a very very good unit it's just he's not busting out 200 thousand damage like the one escanor does on like turn one right he's not busting out those types of attack numbers simply because he does need to be built up which you guys i guess you can say that that you guys can say it sucks you can say it doesn't but yeah he is more so like you do have to like take your allies have to take damage you yourself have to attack like it's it's a lot right his ultimate also helps um with his damage too because it increases his basic stats by 50 percent so it is very very nice but yeah um assault mode meliodas is very very good i i do think he is probably the second best festival unit again he does need to, you know, he does need to be set up. He does need specific characters. And we'll go over those characters actually right now. 
that work very well with him. Now, these two, Melaska and Droll, actually work very good with him because of the way they work. Obviously, Melaska's passive allows you to um, stay alive when you're at 1 HP as long as she is alive. So, if Melaska is alive, she will keep Assault Melee alive even if he gets to like one health so that's very nice for him because then he can get his passive up he can get his attacks that it's very nice to have right very very nice but if she goes down it's over right then he then he himself is it's dead or if they have a way to remove buff since her um her passive is considered like a special buff right if they have for example green escanor and he can cancel buffs Assault Melee dead. Like, he's dead. He's dead, right? So, she's very good for him. Not only does she um, do that, but she also can apply Ignites if you decide to run her commandment. Although, I don't think anyone would. And she also has um, this right here, which, can, you know, basically brings, brings up her health. So, very, very nice survivability as well. So, she's good. She's good. And then, of course, we got the monster himself, Blue Droll. Since he is considered a commandment, he works well with Meliodas because Meliodas obviously needs commandments for his passive. And he, you guys already know how good Droll is, man. Droll's literally been relevant since, I want to say Sariel, like Blue Droll, right? Blue Droll has been relevant since Sariel dropped. And he just, he's just a very, very good unit. Like, that's it. He's just a very, very good unit. His commandment is very nice. His passive is very nice. And not only that, he has a taunt. So it's going to be very, very strong with Assault Mode Meliodas. Now, again, these aren't like, you know, absolute perfect partners for Assault Melee, but they do work, right? They do work very nicely with him. So, no, they might not be like, oh, my God, they need like they don't have anything to help him, you know, buff himself, yada, 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 although Droll does with his commandment. But they are still very, very nice. If we took a look at all the demons in the game, there's not, like, I mean, there's not too many crazy ones. I mean, this new Derriere is not that good. Bellion, no, you're not going to use him. Green Derriere is actually a contender because Green Derriere has, um, what is it? Like, her commandment decreases the damage of ranged skills by 35%. Her passive, no enemies can fill ultimate move gauge by moving skills, which isn't the craziest, but if they merge, they won't be able to um, get their ult gauge, so that's very nice. She has ult depletion. She can fill her um, her gauge up herself, so it's very nice, right? It's very, very nice. And then we go look at the demons again. You could use, like, you could use, um... You could use Zell. Zell's a very good contender as well for this. You could use him. Red Zell, at least. Um, he's very nice because he has ult depletion. His passive is very good. You can run him on the back. You know, um, he just has very good kit, like a very good kit to him. So you could, if you wanted to, run him in the back. So I think people do run like Malaskula and Droll in the front and then Zell just in the back. That would be nice. Again, Green Daddy Eddie is a very, very good contender for being on his team if you don't have anyone else built up although the bad thing is all of these people like all of these units they're all coin shop units and the one escanor does have zelda's and droll and esterosa on his banner right now but meliodas will have i believe droll zelda's and dede Yere, not melaskala he's not gonna have melaskala on his banner unless they change it but yeah i believe he will have all three of these units on there so that's very very nice to have um, his banner is very demon and commandment eccentric, of course, because that's what he needs to, you know, get his passive to proc. But otherwise, he's still a very, very good unit. But again, I want you all to be prepared just to save up your gems. Know that he is coming soon. So I don't want you all to be like, oh my god, I didn't know, because now you guys know, right? So hopefully you guys do manage your gems well. Hopefully you guys are, you know, going to save from here on out. But with that said, guys, as always, I will see you all next time.